Welcome back to Greyhack. So it's finally time for us to try out one of the hack shop missions. So if we go to the hack shop IP, we will see that there are plenty of jobs here that we can choose between. And I don't think we have any tools that are updated but we'll see what, uh, like if we look here in the file explorer, we can see that my shell web is version 1.9, my shell mail is version 1.6, so I don't really have anything uh, that will be able to hack into any of these probably. It will probably be like six or seven or maybe even higher. Uh, before we start hacking, we need to start the admin monitor, which uh, will tell us if uh, the admins start tracking us. Okay. For our first mission, I think the easiest one would be credentials needed. So here we go, clients. The client wants to access the remote machine. The client wants the login credentials of a particular user. Maximum discretion is required, so credentials must be obtained without attracting the attention of the victim. I think that means that we can't be traced, for example, so we need to be either very quick or not log in when they are, uh, the admins are online. This is a bit more trick. Uh, this is a little bit trickier than some of the credentials needed, so I think this might be perfect. Okay, so we got an email. This is the IP of the victim. And this is the uh, LAN IP, so we need to check that we are on the correct machine. The person we uh, need to get the login password for is Lando and uh, let's see how complicated or straightforward this is we open up a terminal and we start off by using our most popular hacking tool which is the nmap and that will tell us that it's a FTP server. So this is going to be more interesting than I initially thought. Uh, the thing with FTP servers, um, they can be somewhat tricky. So either we need to uh, hide our IP by changing our Wi-Fi connection, or we need to um, uh, use a proxy network or we need to uh, download the log file, edit it and upload it again. So I think we will be using two of those uh, methods. So to be safe, we will be using a proxy. So this uh, episode might be more interesting than I uh, intended when I started this video. Uh, so what we will do is we will open another browser. We'll go to the shop. And from here we will get a basic server. Um, this server, uh, I'll have to change the credentials for this server, or maybe I don't care, but we'll see. Uh, so you can't hack me later. Um, I think I'll just use it and throw it away, actually. So if we click on this button, we can save the uh, computer to the map. Then we open the map. And now if we click here, we can see that the server has been added. Um, 
and we have two options either we can bounce them in the order that they are added or in a random order since there's only one it doesn't matter so let's just do this and we are now connected through this proxy server let's close this um what this means is that we can delete the uh, logs on this computer uh, or this server instead of uh, uh, the FTP server if we have to or want to. So next up we will need to get some kind of tool that can hack a FTP 7.0 server. Maybe I should have checked that earlier since I might have gotten this uh, proxy server for nothing. So if we go in here, we have the FTP nuke, which is the tool we will be using for, and of course it's not enough. Yeah. So what you can see here is that we got uh, the highest version is 6.7 and it requires 0, 7.0. So we can't hack this with FTP nuke. The user is, however, known to us. Well, we don't know the last names. So I don't think it's going to work, but we could try social engineering. So in that case, we would say that we are have issues. We tell the admin. We need to check who the admin is. We use the who is command. And we can clipboard the IP. So here we have the admin and we we put the admin's email address and then we put the person's name. I honestly don't think it's enough. I think we need both the first and last name. So we go here, go here, then we go send. Yeah, there's no one with that name here, so we need the last name as well. That's unfortunate. So, since the FTP version is 7.0, we cannot hack this mission at this moment, so we will have to wait. And in the meantime, we will uh, pick up another mission. So, let's try another credentials needed, see what we get. So, in this one, uh, we will be getting the credentials for any user. And uh, it's preferable if the user doesn't know about it, but it's not a requirement. So this is the easiest uh, form of credentials needed, in my opinion. Let's take a look again at the new mission. Hopefully there is a open port that we can hack this time. So we go and map. Oh my goodness, yes. There are SMTP and HTTP uh, open here, so that means that we can... Hmm. Let's see what versions we have again. The uh, IP is, is 1.3. That might be the... Well, we'll have to check that. What kind of shell web versions do we have so we use shell web to hack http ports and the shell web is up to 7.2 so we can easily hack that perfect so let's buy that and let's add 7.2 so we know what version we have download that close and since this is just a, a HT server, I don't think we need to use the proxy. But if we were to use the proxy, we would just upload the shell web to 
the proxy server and then from the proxy server we would connect to the target server uh, but we don't need to do that uh, in this case or in this instance so let's just use the shell web command that we and we have two now we have the old one 1.9 and the new one 7.2 so let's remove old one so we can use autocomplete remove that and then we can use there we go and this should put us on the and as you can see there is a bunch of admins on here so let's quickly remove our log as i've shown previously and they wanted the login info for of any user so let's just grab root copy that close close and exit and that's pretty much it i copied the root to clipboard up here so what we can do now is we can open up the pass file uh, or uh, text file paste in the new root with md5 hash and save that and then it, well, it doesn't matter you can open a new terminal decipher is the decipher tool on the pass file that where we save the uh, login credentials and then we just wait for this to finish as you can see with only one of the best processors the uh, password hacking is a lot faster already and with uh, with four of them I think it takes like a couple of seconds or something so it's pretty awesome okay so we have the password and we will now send the password to the oh I forgot to check if it was the correct lawn address since there were two open ports it could have been the SMTP server I think we will try it and see if they accept the uh, credentials so we have the root credentials we just type root colon and dmh8 and send you have not completed the mission so that's probably uh, because we were on the wrong computer so we stole the wrong credentials I credentials I should have checked that when we were on here that was stupid okay so we again go in here with shell web we check if there are admins even more admins great first thing first remove the log shell obtained and then we look at if config and the lawn IP is 1.4 which means that we indeed were on the wrong system. What we need to do now is we need to get the tools to hack the... Oops, that's not the right thing. Uh, we need to get the tools to hack the... SMTP port. So this SMTP port is probably where we need to uh, log in the funny thing about this is that I think since it doesn't care about the uh, who the well yeah it doesn't matter so I could actually get the credentials without even hacking onto the system let's see here if we can use the shell mail which is the uh, hacking tool for hacking 
Well, actually, we don't if we do it that way, to be honest. So if we use social engineering, we could get the password for one of the users of this uh, computer without uh, hacking. We can just use social engineering. That's, that would be pretty cool. Um, so we use who is to figure out who the admin is. And then we use SMTP user list to figure out who, uh, what kind of emails exist on the server. So we have a person with this email address. Then we go into a, uh, we make our email uh, with with sharing and we will be sending we will we will be pretending that we are the admin and we will be sending the email to the person and we will be using the name of the that's a weird name does he have a dash in his name that's well, I guess it's not unheard of, but just an M at the end. It's pretty weird. So, there we go. And now we get the password from the uh, social engineering. And the funny thing is that now I believe we can send this as the response without actually hacking onto the system at all. So we got the, let's see here. We need the name. And the cool thing is that the person's last name is always the uh, name of the email and is also all, always the username. So we know that that's the same name uh, for the credentials, so we know that it will be this is the username and then we know that the password he sent us for his computer is this and this is perfectly fine. So that's how you hack a SMTP mission uh, credentials mission without even hacking onto the computer. So that's pretty cool. And I think that will be this episode. There were a bunch of uh, weird twists and turns that I was not expecting, but it, I think it turned out to be fairly entertaining anyways. Um, next time, I think we will be taking on some of the other missions. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.